Hi guys, so today we're going to do the uh, upgrade for the bulbs to the LED versions. Um, these just look a little bit too faded really. So, um, I bought some bulbs off of eBay. Got these LED versions, two of each. And then the upgraded Angel Eye LEDs. So the tools for the job, one impact gun, one T30 Torx and I think this is a T15, it's so small I can't even see it with my eyes um, but location of the bolts we've got one down there you can just about see it so you've got two at the bottom there, the two T15s uh, get the right angle on that one where is it? it's very difficult to see that is literally on it so you can sort of roughly get the location but the lighting is not really showing it do them fully because they would be a nightmare to get back in so let's just give them a couple of turns to get them out and then you've got your two thirties one there one there as well on your headlight but then you need to remove this and there's going to be another two there so so with this rubber you just literally push it back to remove that off this plastic give it a little turn upwards and you get the angle and it comes up and then you've got your two 230 torques so take them two out and it just gives you a bit more leverage when you're getting this headlight out so you can just sort of wriggle out and then you're going to come out from the rear okay so all the bolts have been removed including the two under there and then it may be beneficial to remove the uh, the caps just to give you that little bit of extra room this one which you just pull it from underneath and it lifts up then the other one is a twist just twist it anti-clockwise don't drop it it's like And then obviously it's going to give you a little bit more extra wiggle room. So hopefully now I should be able to remove the headlight. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. Just uh, pull it forward off the two lower bolts first. Just bring it forward and then just twist it up and then just sort of wriggle it and it does come out. I've done that within one minute. So it wasn't too bad. So to get access to your angel wire uh, bulb, Obviously, you take out your top one, um, just the three pulls up, and then be very careful because the metal housing you can just see it in front of your finger, the silver is so flimsy and bad. Um, you don't want to twist it because otherwise, you won't be able to get your um, bulb back in. So, this seems to come apart. Take that out, and then get that brownie type housing and take that out because um, these are the new ones so hopefully because they're uh, shorter overall it should be easier to actually fit also before you do put it in fully uh, just test it uh, just in case you've got a dud bulb you don't want to do all that put it all in and then put it out again so it's just plugged in well the bulb is in and uh, it is an absolute nightmare to try and get it in because of this you've got no room if you've got big hands it's uh, very very difficult so um, <laughs> if you've got any techniques for getting that bulb in then uh, let me know cheers um, but once it's in test it again um, and then put your other bulbs in I'm just going to test this now uh, bulbs are in and they're on definitely a more of a bluey white light compared to the original that yellowy dated look so when you're putting your headlight back in make sure you slide the two plastic um, parts of the housing for the headlight get them underneath the washer each side first um, like that and then uh, you can get it in and it lines up nice then so uh, makes it a bit more easier Okay, that's working. I did have this bulb not working, um, so I just pulled it out 
rotated at 180 degrees and uh, now it's working. So lights are installed now. No error lights, no problems. All fitted in both sides. Nice and neat.